We'll begin by taking a look at the Barnet FC starting 11. And it's a 3-5-2 for Flowers' men. As always, it's number one, Scott Loach in goal. Richard Taylor at left wing back. A back three of Liam Daly, Ben Richards-Everton and Themis Kavalas. It's Lee Vaughan making his Barnet debut at right wing back. There's a midfield free of Anthony Wordsworth returning to the lineup. Skipper James Dunn and Alexander McQueen. And up front, former Wrexham man JJ Hooper is accompanied alongside Courtney Baker Richardson on the bench for Tim Flowers' men. Young keeper Eamon Azaz, who made his league debut in this fixture back in October. Michael Petrasso, Mohamed Ifal, Harry Taylor, and Efron Mason Clark. The referee. Here's Mr. Robert Witten, gets us underway and is immediately pumped towards the Barnet box where it will find the head of Liam Daly. It's going to drop here for Thomas, who looks to get it forward as Wrexham in an all white, uh, all red, sorry, strip this evening. And the ball drops kindly and it deflects and it's quickly gathered at the second attempt. The Barnet defence at sixes and sevens, just 20 seconds in here. As I say, in Wrexham, all in red this evening. The visitors and Barnet in their traditional amber and black. Here's a chance, though, as Courtney Baker-Richardson gets into the box and does win a corner. Fast start here. Yep, end-to-end. -end. They nearly shut me up with a, with a better response to that opening 20 seconds and chance to get an early set piece in. Obviously, the Bees scored from one last Tuesday. Incidentally, the, uh, the officials, Robert Witten, Jack Bloxham, Hugh Gilroy and fourth official, Ayrton Hersey. Corner comes in here, right-footed in swinger towards the far post. There's a Wrexham foot on the end of it. James Dunn will look to get it back in, but it's not going to trouble the Wrexham back line. It will be a goal kick. Wrexham getting into the box here. Dangerous chance. And Loach does excellently to palm over that effort. Good save by the Bees, number one. It's been a couple of times where Wrexham have got the ball in the middle of the park and really punished. Barnett, that's two efforts from the edge of the box that Loach has had to save now. Just need to get a bit tighter the three centre backs because they should have the cover on the flanks from the full backs. Um, just a little bit too easy for them to get the shot away. Yeah, Jordan. A decent point for them on the road. Fern is in, finds a head of Kelleher. Now drops to Wordsworth. As you mentioned, Wrexham really doing the miles they do every year. Dibble does well to come out and punch. Drops to Wordsworth, who goes first time. That's simple for Dibble on the follow-up yeah. options. Here comes the delivery. It's drilled in. Finds a header, Richard Everton, and that would have been some header from, from where he managed to get connection from it. Crosses in. Flicked on. He's going to drop here for Thomas. Forced away from goal. The effort is there, and what a finish that is. Luke Young fires it into the top corner of Scott Loach's goal. And we were asking, would aside find the breakthrough before the halftime whistle well there is your answer it is 1-0 to Wrexham Bees had their chance to maybe poke the ball away they didn't and take nothing away from the finish because it's a fantastic strike leaving Scott Loach with absolutely no chance good hold up play by Thomas but no one quick enough to charge down the shot and it's unstoppable a fantastic strike Luke Young with his seventh, seventh goal of the season. The 28-year-old in fine fettle. Roof of the net, no chance. Loach forward to Kefalas. Down the line, finds McQueen in space. Now over the top towards Baker Richardson. Allowed to stretch his legs and maybe get a cross in here. And that cross almost turned into a shot as Dibble had to get his fist to it. Richard Taylor now, out to Wordsworth, left loaded cross, and that did hit an arm, and it will be a Barnet free kick. To him. Now Daly, his cross is blocked. And there is the half-time whistle. And that second half is underway. Wordsworth getting the ball rolling as Barnet attack from left to right, as you view at home. Attacking the empty Bees Terrace, and that is a free kick for the Bees, right on the edge of the area as Courtney Baker-Richardson is brought down within... 10 seconds of the restart. Right on the edge. I'd like to see that one again. Our initial instinct was it was just outside. Yeah, it is. Comfortably outside the box. But it's certainly a free kick. A chance you fancy for Wordsworth or McQueen. 
if either of them can get this up and over the wall. Makes them do a height in their side, so it will be a pretty big one. This will be the perfect start to the second half if Barnett can find a way back in. Will it be McQueen? Will it be Wordsworth? McQueen and it's straight into the wall and Darrell can clear and that is a real, real, real letdown. Yeah, disappointing. That's the short. At least got to try and you know get it over the wall and maybe tr challenge the keeper from there. I know it's gonna be tough to get it up and under from that close to the box. I'm surprised he he went for it in some ways. Aaron would have been interesting maybe go low because they jumped. Here's Darrell. Turning and send away Davis. Might go alone here. Clips it in, but it goes over the bar. And will be a goal kick for the Bees. Wordsworth. Is it through? Wordsworth again. Pokes it at a goal, and it's a fine save from Christian Dibble. Had to get across quickly to palm that effort around the post. Best chance the Bees have had. Better from Barnett as well, latching onto the, that second ball. Nice bit of interplay between JJ and Wordsworth. Good effort from the Bees number 40 and a good save by Dibble in the Wrexham goal. Good start from Tim Flowers' men. Here comes the corner kick towards the far post where Liam Daly is, but it's headed away by Kelleher just before he can get to the Bees defender. That's a good delivery. Keller has to get down low to get his head onto it, but that effort is not troubling. Dibble, and goes behind for a goal kick to Wrexham. In the main, I think we can be pretty pleased with the opening five minutes from Barnett. Wordsworth's delivery towards the far post. It's not a good delivery, but Hooper couldn't turn his head a goal woods. It says little things you miss. Here's an opportunity, though. Can Barnett fashion a chance? No, the ball is just blocked that ball looks to strike Baker Richardson's arm and then that effort from Wordsworth is deflected narrowly over the crossbar did look to strike the arm of the Barnet man in the build up but referee didn't give it and it was a good chance for the Bees yeah great block to deny Wordsworth he's now had Barnet's best two opportunities of the game just running in from deep and getting in positions on the edge of the box here is the corner ball in towards the far post Daly heads it back across Headed up by a Wrexham man. Headed back in by Wordsworth. Just needs a drop here. Richard Taylor brings it under his control. McQueen will cross in low, but it only finds a Wrexham man, and that will be a free kick for the visitors. Switch the ball is the cry from Liam Daly. But he played through the middle instead. Baker Richardson. His effort from a tight angle is blocked by Dibble. Wrexham defence just seemed to allow Baker Richardson to slip in behind him there and a real opportunity for the man to get off the mark. And that shows what Baker Richardson can do on, on the shoulder. It was a good run and patient play from James Dunn to find the pass. And It's a tight angle for Baker Richardson and Dibble does well to stand firm and, and parry the shot away with his legs. Yeah, it's, it's well found by James Dunn and his effort... From that angle, you almost have to go high there because the keeper, I think, is always going to go low from that tight angle. Right. Heavy ta challenge from Durrell on Dunn, but Dunn stays on his feet and the Bees retain possession. Bees look set to make their first change. It'll be Mohamedou Fall who's introduced. Here's JJ Hooper, lines up a shot at goal. Dibble catches it at the second attempt. And then, great, to his great relief, just jumps on top of the ball. I'm interested to see who Mohamedou Fall comes on for, because I think JJ and Courtney have made decent starts to the second half. Aaron, JJ's shot, as you say, caught on the second attempt. Decent effort. Free kick is in. And the header is goalwards. It will be a goal kick. Yeah, decent effort. It's probably Wrexham's 
most dangerous moment of the second half, unless I'm, I'm forgetting something blatantly obvious. Um, was a decent ball into the box, and as you say, they made the contact, but drops wide of Loach's goal. I think that has showed they don't really create too many opportunities, but here is a chance, and a chance for them to make me eat my words. Darrell across into the far post, but it skims the roof of the net. Record forward. Mahadi Fowl will look to get his leg onto the end of this, but the goal scorer Young driving forward. Ponticelli back to French. Ponticelli just looking for an option. Wants to play it all the way back to Carrington. Clipped in towards Kwame Thomas, who does rise highest, but doesn't get his head onto it. A drop here for Durrell. Might take aim and does and finds the bottom corner. It's a second goal for Wrexham. And it's Elliot Durrell in the 80th minute, maybe putting the game out of reach for the Bees. Yeah, you, you'd suggest that will probably be that for Barnett. Um, harsh, I feel, on the Bees because, as we've said, they've been better in this second half, but. The game was sort of just ebbing into a bit of flatness and that has probably well and truly killed this one off. Good strike. Wrexham's game management from 2-0, Aaron, in fairness, has been absolutely superb. Seen the game out really well. Absolutely. Barnett haven't even been able to create a chance. Well... It was a performance that had showed promise from Tim Flowers' side, but ultimately it's a similar story to what we have seen before. The Bees fall to the feet yet again here at the Hive London. This time it is our visitors from North Wales, whose goals towards the end of both halves really were no match for what Barnett had offered this evening. Now just one win in the last 21 for the Bees. And that wait for a positive upturn in form continues.